Okay, everybody. Um, this is Amin Mojira with the uh, Imagination Everywhere in the RIA Institute, and we're going to get right into uh, learning how to use Visual Web Developer uh, to create websites. And what we're going to do today is we're going to learn the basics of HTML. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up Visual Studio. And as you can see, just one little note, um, I'm keeping the clock here so that uh, I, I don't go over my time. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, open up a new project. And as you can see, Visual Studio now opens up on the start page. And the way you um, open, uh, 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 customize Visual Studio is through the, through the tools tag, I mean the tools menu, the tools menu here in Visual Studio, you click on tools and you go to the option dialog box, the options dialog box, and as you can see uh, there is a, a section called startup and you can set it to start page. Um, also what you want to do is you want to go down here to uh, text editor and click on the arrow to drop down the menu and go to the HTML designer and make sure that line numbers is clicked because you want to definitely display uh, line numbers so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and open up uh, create a new website empty website we're going to create it on our desktop and what we're going to call this is tag tags and properties so and click OK and it creates us a new uh, website uh, it's empty so we gotta add a new item right click and add a new item and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a HTML page here and we're gonna call this tag page And what we're going to do is one of the great features of uh, Visual Web Developer and Visual Studio is we're able to take code and save it without having to cut and paste or put it on the clipboard or paste it into another document. So we're going to take this doc type uh, tag right here, this doc type tag, and I'm going to highlight the whole thing. And what you can do is in your toolbox right here which is this uh, this feature right here and if you want to know how to view your toolbox you go to the view uh, view menu and you what you want to go down to is uh, uh, either control alt X to display your toolbox or uh, or you just uh, in order to get rid of it if you got rid of it you know you just go back up to your tools menu I mean your view menu and click on the toolbox and it'll reappear so I just wanted to let you know that real quick but what we're going to do is we're going to take this right here this piece of code and we're going to drop it here in the general section because what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase all this right here get rid of all this and we're going to build our HTML page from scratch so the first thing the HTML page needs uh, well <coughs> is 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 in HTML is is laid out with what's, what's called tags and the tags are in uh, uh, are enclosed into arrow brackets so you first start out with your left arrow bracket and as you can see once you put your left arrow bracket on the page HTML uh, the IntelliSense in Visual Studio goes ahead and allows you to see what your options are so we go ahead and put the uh, uh, left arrow bracket and we're going to start with the HTML tag and then we're going to close that off with the closing bracket and as you can see it closes it off for you automatically that's the power of Visual Studio and even Expression Web but Visual Studio has just uh, just crazy uh, uh, things when it comes to learning these languages so every HTML page has to have an opening HTML tag and a closing HTML tag everything that's in your page that is uh, 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 going to be used has to be in between these tags then what you need is what's called a head tag and you go ahead and press tab in order to let it appear on the page and then close it off and it gives you your closing tag 
and everything in between your head tag is going to be not seen by the person viewing your website so in between the head tag you always want to put a title tag in order to give your page a title we're going to call this tag page and that's all right now what we're going to be putting between the the head tag is just the title tag now after the end of the head tag under the closing head tag what we want to do is press the uh, bracket again and what we want to do is put a body tag and then close that off and everything in the body is what's going to appear on your web page by what you can what the user can see on your web page and the first element that we want to go ahead and put on in the body of your web page and as you can see once you press that tag all these tags uh, HTML tags are available to you um, if we scroll down and you can either click on them or drag them um, I mean not drag them but you can click on them or you can start to write them and the highlight the box will highlight the the thing you're typing to them. the first tag we're going to use is called the div tag and so we close that off and a div stands for the division of your web page and tags uh, HTML tags have what's called attributes and uh, once you press the spacebar in between the opening tag um, you get another dialog box that comes up and you can give your tag all kinds of attributes like IDs, a language, uh, events um, so we're going to go ahead and name our di this division of the web page we're going to give it an ID or name of container and as you can see once I press the equal sign it automatically put it in double quotes and whatever you want to name your tag you put it in the you, you put it in between your double quotes and you can name your tag anything so then what we want to do is we want to get another attribute called style and then press the equal sign and then properties what, what style allows you to do is to access the properties of your div, the, the properties that can be applied to your div, and so what we want to do is we want to give it a background color. Now you either double click or again press uh, tab or return, and then what you want to do is you want to put a quotation mark, and the background color here here are the properties that we can put is the colors that we can um, give the background of the div, and so let's give it a background of blue. Uh, no, of red. Red is a good color. So we go red and then press return. And if we want to give it another property, uh, let's say height, height, colon, and let's say 100 pixels. Okay. So we did that. And so what we can do is we can go ahead and save it. And let's view it in the browser and voila we have a red div that is a hundred pixels in height now if we want to shorten the length all we have to do is go back go back here and in between the quotation marks remember you gotta stay in between the quotation marks when you're putting a style in put another semicolon and go width colon and let's say 50 pixels px then what we can do is save that and all we have to do is go back to the browser and refresh it and when we have a div that's 50 pixels in height I mean 100 pixels in height and 50 pixels in length so these are the things that we're learning that you're going to be learning how to when it comes to this series and learning uh, HTML. So I look forward to you to, to the next video and thank you for watching this one.